because you have to produce a magazine every week and that's kind of like stressful, you know, and so you want to kind of keep it fairly fresh. Just these ways of keeping yourself interested in the project, you know, kind of like, you know, and, and you know, you know, as a kind of a, a design team as well. There's a couple of kind of people who are my age and then there's one person who's kind of quite a lot older. Everyone else is basically like 25. And so, um, it's interesting kind of introducing certain people to certain mythologies and certain kind of you know, like theories of, you know, like, you know, particularly kind of type structure and kind of like formal, you know, very kind of formal kind of types of design. There's a few people that really kind of gravitate towards it. And so we still have, there is still this kind of rigidity in, in the kind of the, the, the magazine, in the front half of the magazine to a certain extent, right at the back of the magazine. But then in the middle, it kind of just, it, there's no, you know, there's no formality at all. And it kind of all gets a little bit kind of, it's, it's all kind of quite bespoke, I guess. You know, you need to sort of challenge yourself a little bit and, you know, and all the kind of just talk about structure, which we've just been having, and, and, and kind of formal grids and all that kind of stuff. Um, I'm, I've kind of lost a little bit of faith in that, really. I don't, I find I'm kind of a bit bored with that sort of design now. Um, you know, I, I'm kind of, I'm, I'm more broadly sort of this idea of like mid-century modernism, this pervasive spirit of kind of modernism, which, which sort of still, I think, in contemporary graphic design is still kind of a bit of a straitjacket, you know, and, and um, I mean, you know, not, not everyone does, you know, uses that, but I mean, I think that if you see kind of in a broader kind of context of sort of, of, of graphic design that you see, you know, not the kind of, the, the more kind of experimental stuff, but like it, it just in, in the world generally, graphic design is, is it, is, is really muted and it's about help and I mean I'll use Helvetica but it's like it's about Helvetica you know it, it's, it's about you know it feels like we sort of haven't really sort of or rather we could do with like evolving a little bit the, the whole Helvetica conversation is kind of difficult and kind of a bit boring really but kind of it, in a way that it, it Helvetica is a kind of a way of us kind of like just flattening everything out and and there and for that to be a kind of a common voice and so if so really what, we, what we've got is you know as I said this this very sort of rigid structure but then what I want is just lots of different voices within that structure, which can kind of give it a sense of kind of vibrancy, I think. You know, and so, I, you know, and then it, it's just, you know, this idea of every, you know, that the, these kind of these transferable skills that we've all got, like, you know, I mean, you know, designers can pretty much tell what a good photograph is, and then a lot of designers can take, take really good photographs. You know, the, you know, I don't think these skills are kind of necessarily kind of exclusive to certain skill sets. Um, and, you know, and then I think also by doing that, you kind of create a different sort of environment and you can create kind of, you experiment a lot more internally. And I think that has a kind of a good long-term sort of effect. It's a kind of, it sort of becomes a little bit about empowerment and about, um, um, you know, sort of giving people who you work with a sense of kind of identity within the magazine. And that, again, that's another thing that I was, I've always been kind of interested in doing is that I'm not actually that interested in my own voice. I'm kind of, you know, within the magazine, you know, I'm kind of, but I'm very interested in other people you know, is other people's voices kind of, and then I think that gives you a slightly more kind of diverse magazine. It gives you a more kind of like interesting sort of, you know, I, th I think that's probably what everyone does in magazines, but kind of like, you know, specific to sort of what I do. That felt like kind of, you know, that was important.